Stephen, thousands of Yemenis have been killed since the war started and millions are currently without secure access to food. How crucial do you believe it is for there to be an urgent ceasefire from all sides involved? It is absolutely vital that we have an urgent ceasefire. Every party to this conflict needs to stop the war so that we can get on with the job of negotiating a peace and enabling the people of Yemen to decide their own future. And as we look ahead, what sort of role can the UK play in Yemen's political transition? I think the United Kingdom could play a very positive role if we're prepared to talk to the different sides, bring them together around the table. But in the end, rightly, it's for the people of Yemen themselves to decide their own future. They've had enough outside interference over a very long period of time. And a lot of hope from the people in the room here today. Are you confident that there can be an end to the war in the not too distant future? I was delighted with the numbers of people that we had here today and the quality of our discussion. Nevertheless, the news from Yemen is sobering. It is still a big challenge to get ourselves to a ceasefire, let alone a lasting peace. But what I take from today is a strong commitment from many people here in Liverpool to trying to achieve that lasting peace. Amina, you've been highlighting the situation in Yemen through poetry. Do you think that people are now really starting to wake up to the situation there and the actual extent of the conflict and the brutal reality that the people of Yemen are facing? Yeah, definitely. I mean, two years ago, I felt like I was like a lonely voice in a room full of people that had no idea what was going on. Um, but now, like, we have local friends of Yemen where we have MPs who are involved. I mean, we have MPs that are dedicated, would come to every meeting, we have people from... Um, save the children so people are now coming together with their expertise and actually thinking of ways to kind of um, think of ways of practical ways of how we can help from sitting at home um, and that's really really good stuff so today we've had our seminar and this is this started for one meeting and now we've had a seminar from people all the way from London from Birmingham so hopefully in the future it'll just get I just, there's a lot of hope that we can do so much more.